Ohio, Gazimas. We are at the airport. It's like 5 a.m. We've hardly slept. I was stressing packing so much, but we are ready to go. We're just waiting for them to tell us where we can leave our bags, like the right desk, and then we'll be going for some breakfast. So we've got a long journey ahead of us. How excited are you, Scott? I'm very excited. I think this is like, I've been to Tokyo once before, but it was very brief for like three days with my friend Yana, and I was her plus one on a trip. But this is my first time going where we get to just like go and do whatever we want. So I'm excited, but also overwhelmed because like this is the motherland of everything that we love. Anime, food, that's it. That's all we love, yeah. <laughs> that's all we like. Um, so yeah, we're excited. So I can't wait to show you guys our trip. I put my Chainsaw Man stickers from Berlin on my smaller case because everyone has this case and it gets really confusing if there's like three of them in the overhead cabin. So I always like to try and like make sure that I know which cases are ours. So we thought the flight might be delayed, but fingers crossed it's on time so far. Yeah. So we have a 13, 13 hour, 40 minute flight ahead, so we'll catch you on the other side. We just got off the flight and picked up our mobile internet. Oh. Oh. So we just checked in to our hotel for our stay, which is the Kimpton Shinjuku, which I'm super excited about. Um, we're super, super early, so I didn't expect the room to be ready, but apparently it's going to be ready in like 30 minutes. So that's really, really good. Um, we're just going to sit and have a coffee, try and wake up a bit. We're honestly so pooped. But after a shower, brush our teeth, we'll be ready to go. so nice. Oh my god, the bathtub. Wow. Oh. This is super cute. Scott, look, they're giving us little brownies from Fat Witch Bakery. Would you just call me? You're Fat Witch. <gasps> Japanese toilets are amazing. Look at all these controls. Look at everything I can wash. <laughs> Is it heated? It feels warm for sure. <gasps> Glorious. Scott's testing the depth of the bath. It's very deep, no? Very deep. That's crazy. We just got refreshed and now we're ready to go and explore Shinjuku. We don't know where we're going or what we're doing. We're just gonna go out and see what's up. Get some delicious food and some nice coffee. 
And we've got these new masks, which are super tight, but it's good. Yeah, they're really tight. The sun has come out. Oh, am I in some kind of cycle lane? Guys, these new masks are too tight because look at my ears. I look like Dumbo. No. Okay. Guys, this sounds really dumb. Well, it's not dumb, but the one thing that I'm noticing compared to London at the moment, Tokyo is so clean. The streets are so clean. There is no litter. There is no cigarette butts. There's no chewing them on the floor. It's kind of surprising because there's no there's no bins either. So everyone's just taking their litter and going home. London could never. Literally, it's so nice. Pokemon nano blocks. I fully went into that um, lunch spot being like, what is on my phone? Oh, it's the sunshine thing. I fully... We just had our first meal and I'm pretty proud of us. Well, it was a bit of a struggle because the, the menu, like the, you order on a machine and it was just like very confusing. And I also can't read Japanese, so even more confusing because of that, probably. Stood there looking like I was, I was like, hmm. For, for a good few minutes, and like the queue was building up behind us. And this, the small Japanese older lady in there came outside with us to look at the pictures to tell, to ask which one we wanted. Well, we found what the number was, but the number wasn't on the screen. So it was not on the screen. We didn't know where to click to bring up that number. But we did it and we had our first standing up meal as well, which was fun. That's what we did. Proud of us. Oh, and it tasted so good. Like, it was really nice. Yeah, it was really good, really tasty. We've spied this banana drink cafe. Scott's gonna get a caramel banana latte and I'm just gonna get a banana juice. Right there. Utari banana. Mmm. Just tastes like banana milkshake. It's nice. That's really good. It's very thick. How's yours? Is it hot? Mmm. This is nice. To like a pharmacy for some mouthwash and even the Listerine is giving and also they do these things called like breath care with like little poppable chew things so we're gonna try some of these also gonna try some new masks that hopefully won't make me look like my face is being squished That's for your nose. Like, open it up a bit more and then put it on like that. Have a slice. Go around. 
I care the old. Yeah. Yeah. That's a. Oh, those hearts are about cat balls. Scott! It's too far. They have a baby cutie nail in 7 Eleven. I'm gagged at how amazing all of these sandwiches look. They look so good. Shrimp cutlet, oh my gosh. Chicken eggs, vegetables, chili sauce, pork cutlet with sauce and sandwich. Oh, I can't with these. Okay guys, I want to show you what we got from the 7-Eleven. So we found these like Kit Kat bites that we got in regular and dark. So like rice snacks, got like bacon, egg and cheese, uh, pork, egg, and then sausage and garlic mayo. Scott wanted these two like eclair dessert things and this one's just chocolate and this one has blueberry jam inside. And uh, then I wanted a chocolate milk and we also saw these and we're like, why not? But they're obviously gonna blow our heads off. They're like spicy hula hoops, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that is our little haul. A few hours have passed. Our jet lag has hit us hard and we are falling asleep walking around Shinjuku. So we're like, let's get some snacks, go back to the hotel and just chill. So we figured we'd get a good night's sleep and then be super energized for tomorrow. Yeah. We hope. guys we are well rested now we feel like we've had our i think it's got used to that from like 6 p.m till 8 a.m today on and off um we were just so knackered yesterday after the flight i forgot that jet lag would even be a thing so now we're well rested and we actually have a booking at the pokemon center cafe for lunch today just having breakfast in the restaurant at the hotel now and then gonna get ourselves ready to go out for the day. So these are all the things that just come with breakfast. You have a fruit bowl, a salad bowl, granola with milk, a bowl of pastries and bread. And look at the butter. This is like soy butter in this little like, this holder is so cute. And there's a big bitch. <laughs> Wow. What was this again? Some kind of bacon. Yeah, it's like bacon. Bacon and sausage. Morning guys, we are just, well, we just finished breakfast and now we're heading to Shinjuku station because we need to get our travel cards and then figure out how to get the train. Yes. For our Pokemon Center <laughs> visit. So, it was just like, yeah. Again. I don't know why I'm so excited to get the metro. Are you excited, Scott? I am. Are you excited to get the metro? Yeah. So why? It's weird. It's so normal. A 
Arriving at Takebashi T8. Okay, the subway was fine, the, everything was really made sense. The diff most difficult part was which exit to leave, but we got a bit lost because the station is underneath like a shopping center, but we did it, we made it out, and now we're walking to the Pokemon Center. Motherland. What are the options? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's so cute and clips. A book on Daniel Ashton's creations for Pokemon. Save them. The iPhone cases are so cute, but they're all for the iPhone XS. <laughs> That's so stupid. So cute! Sandwich maker, hotcake maker, so cute! Hand cream. Like this. These coasters. <laughs> so you order everything from an iPad um, and you can also buy any of the merchandise behind us as well. <laughs> so guys, we just finished at the Pokemon Center and there's Pokemon Center Cafe and it was so, so cute. It was probably the most expensive meal we were gonna have out here, but I feel like it was worth it. Yeah, um, very cute. So, so cute. If you're a fan of Pokemon, it's definitely worth it. If you don't like Pokemon, then I probably wouldn't suggest it because just everything is Pokemon, like the food, the drinks. And it's so, so, yeah, kawaii. <laughs> Look at how clean and tidy these streets are. Gagged. has this men's padded kimono. So slow. Socks. So we have come to Character Street in Tokyo Station, which is just full of cute little shops for 
like it says, characters. So there's like a Miffy store, Rilakkuma store, um, Snoopy, Snoopy, Miffy. Did I say Miffy already? Sanrio. Yeah. There's another Pokemon store here as well. So we have got our work cut out for us. You have to choose which ones you want. Now. Who wants a tempura ring? Mm -hmm. There is a huge line for the Tokyo Station store. The characters are super cute. But yeah, there's always been a big line ever since we got here. We're back at the hotel and I wanted us to try these on camera from Tokyo Banana, the Pokemon ones. So let's do it. They're so cute! Oh my gosh. They just feel like a spongy cake thing. Okay, you ready? Smell. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, banana filling. Mmm, that's really good to be All creamy. Right. If you like banana flavour, it's just like a little sponge cake filled with a banana creamy filling. Mmm. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have jet lag, so... They have Kari Sweat in the gym. <laughs> the gym looks so good. Lots of stuff to do. We're gonna do a quick workout. And then, today, we're going to Shibuya Crossing. Kasef! Konnichiwa! McDonald's, we got a teriyaki chicken fillet burger, got a cookie cream pie, and I got a samurai mac, which is one of their special things at the moment. And then we got the spicy chicken nuggets as well. Oh, and a cheese sauce. So we're just finishing up in McDonald's in Shibuya, and I'm employing Scott as Instagram boyfriend for the day. So he's going to take content over at the crossing. Um, and then, what are we going to do after? Walk around here, explore Shibuya, maybe walk up to Harajuku, and see what we find. Scott just finished his Instagram boyfriend two teas. He's getting better. You'll see on Instagram. Guys, we found the Pokemon Center in Shibuya, but there's usually a Mewtwo in there, but there's nothing there! This is so sad! So we found out that they took the Mewtwo away, but give us a VR version, and it's just not the same.
So we've just come down this really cute street, um, kind of in between Shibuya and Harajuku. And it's got loads of like used clothing stores and they're all super, super cute. And I picked up this denim like shearling jacket for like 30 pounds. And then we've just been in like a secondhand designer store as well. And we had loads of stuff like Supreme, Balenciaga, uh, Acne, um, what else are we looking at? I don't know, just loads of stuff. Uh, and it was really nice. So we're going to see what else we can find and head to Great Tokyo, like GR8. That's a store that I've known about since 2010 when I was like first into like fashion and stuff like that. It's a website I would always look at, so I'm really excited to go there. This coat is incredible. Super sleigh. So we just went in a secondhand clothing store called Kindle, which was really, really cool. Very hidden away, like on the third floor of the random building. Um, but we had some really cool stuff. Scott bought a Pokemon collab sweater, yeah. but it's really nice. It's cool. And I didn't buy anything. I wanted to buy stuff, but it's very expensive. Even though it's secondhand, it's still an arm and a leg. I got the line. <laughs> I swapped out Kuromi today for Foy Coco from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. He's not my favorite starter, but out of all the three starters they had in the Pokemon Center, this one looked the most uh, how do I say less derpy? It looked the least derpy, that's what I should say. So if you're staying at the Kimpton, they offer um, free coffee in the mornings between certain times. I can't remember, I know it ends at 10, which is why we're here now before 10. Morning latte, the coffee is amazing. Me and Scott were just saying that the coffee at this hotel is so nice. It's like, not bitter at all, is it? It's very smooth, very smooth um, which we like. We are going to Akihabara today, which is like the otaku central, like anime land. So Scott's very excited about it. And some cute lunch spots as well that we want to try. So we'll just see what happens. I posted on Instagram last night, like a reel saying that I'm here. I always delay my Instagram feed a little bit so I have time to like, to create content because I would hate to like say, oh, I'm in Tokyo and then like not post anything for like two or three days, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, I posted the reel that I'm here and the response from you guys has been like incredible. All the comments are so lovely, just saying like, have a nice time and you can't wait to see what I get up to and stuff like that. It just feels like I'm talking to all my mates. So yeah, I just want to say thank you if you've you know, engaged or sent me a message or anything. And the fact that four people in Tokyo already have come up to me and said hi is insane. Like literally halfway across the world and people are like, are you Calyx? I'm like, I can't. You guys make my heart melt, it's so sweet. So thank you. Look at this Japanese gas station. That's so interesting. All of the pumps are like on the ceiling. Wow. Wow. It's 
Epcot is in heaven. <laughs> Need any cables? So we're in this um, like figurine store and basically there's some Pokemon cards that I want in this box here but you have to write down like the case it's in, the number and the price and then go to the children checkout so hopefully I did it right and hopefully this works <laughs> If we thought Scott was in heaven before, this surpasses that. I don't know if you know, but I'm obsessed with Nendoids. They're like chibi little dolls that come with accessories and stuff, but I have quite a lot of them at home. <laughs> So I definitely want to pick something up on this trip. Okay, so Scott just alerted me that they have Nendoid pieces here as well. Which is crazy. Look at all the different heads and ties. They have Pushka from Made in Abyss. And they have Rico as well. Mikasa and Eren from Attack on Titan. Gojo from the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie. With Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen as well. They're so cute, I just can't get over them. <laughs> These hats. The squid, the squid hat. This is just like general homeware bits and bobs and look at this place. I'm obsessed. Hair dryers, but look how cute everything is. <laughs> These vintage Pokemon games. It's Scott. This is just winking. Who did you get? You're coming home with me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we just went for dinner in Shinjuku to Shogun Burger. It was really, really good. However, my favorite things were the fries and the onion rings. But the burger chicken itself. Chicken nuggets are good. Oh, and the chicken nuggets were good. But the burger itself was good. I'm just a bitch for Shake Shack now. I don't know what's wrong with me. There is a Shake Shack here, so maybe we'll go there one day. We found an arcade, and we're gonna try and win this dinosaur. Oh. Scott's just spotted the Godzilla that's in Shinjuku above one of the hotels, so we're gonna go spy it closer. It's a moving crowd. What the fuck? So as you can see, it just started snowing, which is about right because it's been so cold. Um, so we decided to come back from dinner and order some waffles to the hotel. And they look amazing. They're both banana and chocolate chip bubble waffles, but Scott got chocolate sauce and I got Nutella. Very different. So it's Saturday and we're back in the gym. So we just finished our workout. I'm getting our kickstart coffee from the Jones. And then we're gonna go to a really nice park near Shinjuku today. I forgot the exact name of it, but it's um, maybe like a 30, 40 minute walk from the hotel. So we just wanna get like some fresh air and enjoy the scenery. Um, I posted my Akihabara post yesterday. I said in the caption that I hate that I have to go to sleep, and this is very true, it's how I felt this whole time. We have jet lag as well, so it's annoying to have to go to sleep and then not actually sleep that much. But um, 
yeah, like even though we're here for 10 days, I feel like we've got so many things that we want to do, like 10 days is not enough, but 10 days is a lot of time at the same time. So we've been able to do lots of things so far. I think we're halfway through now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Come on so quick. Just gonna have our coffees in the room and then get ready to go on our little peaceful walk. <laughs>